Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out a apple peel off mask. Now I recently came back from Japan and I bought a lot of beauty products for my series to try and one of them is this mask. This mask contains BHA that gently dissolves dead skin cells and reveals perfectly nourished skin. It contains apple and honey that help keep the skin soft and supple. Now you guys know how much I love peel off products. So I'm pretty excited to try this one out. On the front it doesn't have a lot of English but there is some English and this is what it says. Beauty Face Peeling Moisture, so, okay. And underneath it says, Dense Cosme Gel Wraps Your Skin. It is the gel of magic for you to get the beauty in the next stage. Hmm, I don't think they're that great at product descriptions, well, at least in English, but um, it is Japanese and Japanese are known to have awesome beauty products, so let's try it out. Now, I have nothing on my skin, so I have clean skin, I just have like eyebrows and a bit of eye makeup on, but my skin is bare, and with most peeling products, it's pretty much the same thing. You apply it on clean skin, you let it dry, and you peel it off. That's the fun bit. So I'm gonna do that with this gel. Um, now, it didn't come with a brush, but I have a brush from another product, um, the Glam Glow Mask. So I'm gonna use the brush to apply the gel on because, I don't know, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, sometimes I almost peel my eyebrows off and it can get really messy with these products. So I've learned my lesson and I'm gonna be careful, as careful as I can be, and use a brush to apply it. So I'm just going to squeeze some of the gel out onto the brush and it's green, ooh la la. Ooh, it's dripping. And then I'm just going to apply an even layer on my skin. It smells really good. It smells like those Japanese like candy, the really chewy ones or those jelly beans. Oh, I kinda wanna eat it. Now when I spread it out my skin, you can't really see that the color's green anymore. It's gone a bit clear, but that's all right. I'm going to apply a nice kind of like thick-ish layer, not too thin because I kind of want to peel it off in one go. It's really satisfying when you can do that. Now the smell of this product is pretty strong, so if you don't like the apple smell, maybe just, just don't try this product out. Okay, so with this product, don't apply it too close to your eyes because I can feel it kind of like burning my eyes. I don't know if it's a good thing. Now I'm kind of like scared. Oh yeah, it's kind of burning. Ooh. It must be because the aroma is so strong, so it's kind of like burning my eyes. Definitely not a good thing. Okay, so I'm done applying the mask on. I'm gonna wait about 15 to 20 minutes and wait for it to dry. Right now, my skin doesn't feel like anything. It kind of feels like it's getting a little bit tighter as the mask dries, but it's not stinging or hurting or anything. However, I do feel like this mask probably contains alcohol. I can't read the ingredients because it's all in Japanese, but um, when I apply it underneath my eyes, you can kind of feel like the alcohol fumes burning my eyes. And when I applied it on my upper lip, I can really smell like a strong alcohol scent when I first applied it. So in saying that, if you guys have super sensitive skin and you can't like take products with alcohol in it, do not try this product because I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna do to my face, so. Let's just keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best. Okay, so 20 minutes has passed and the mask has dried. You kind of see that as I speak, it's kind of like peeling itself off. So I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling the mask off. I'm gonna start from the bottom. I'm use my nails to like peel it off. Oh yeah. Whoa. Mmm. It's a little bit painful if you have facial hair. Oh, it's kind of painful. Oh, it's definitely painful. Okay, if you guys cannot tolerate pain, do not try this. It kind of feels like I'm waxing my face right now. Ah. I'm getting hot. Ouch. I have to say, I think this is like one of the most painful peel off masks I've ever tried. <laughs> Do not try this at home. Ah. 
Maui. Whew. Whew. What did I do? Ooh. Getting there. I'm slowly getting there. It's tough. little like baby hairs oh I think I pulled them out <sighs> Whew. okay I got most of it off oh wow it definitely gets rid of dead skin cells that is true but it also waxes all your little like vellus hairs and removes blackheads I could see some of them you know what they say beauty is pain and this is definitely painful it's definitely like the most painful peel off mask I've ever tried and I still have some of it left on my skin. It's a shame it didn't come off in one go but you know what it was so freaking painful. Finally I managed to remove all of the mask. Surprisingly it wasn't that hard to get off with a bit of water um, and in terms of how my skin feels it actually feels really good. Um, it's really smooth now. The dry flaky bits underneath my eye, like that's gone. Around my nose, the pore area, like those large pores feel much tighter. My chin feels nice, my feels nice. However, removing the mask did not feel nice. Would I say it's worth it? Mm, maybe, I don't know. It depends on your pain tolerance. I think because I haven't used a peel off mask in a while, so maybe all like my baby hairs grew back and just like pulling it off, it really hurt. But I'm surprised that my face isn't actually that red at all. I thought it'd be like super red after waxing my face, you know. I definitely wouldn't recommend it to people with very sensitive skin. I would only recommend it to those who have like really like dry dead skin, like flakiness, or if you really want to give your skin a very deep cleanse and remove any of the dirt and impurities and you have a high pain tolerance you can try this out but if you have sensitive skin stay clear of this I have to admit this has to be one of the strongest peel off masks that I've tried it literally sticks on to everything hair pores dead skin like all that dirt and debris it just sticks on to everything and removes that it's definitely stronger than like the egg peel off mask, the Daiso charcoal peel off mask, definitely much stronger than that. So if you guys are looking for a very deep cleanse in regards to like skincare and masks, maybe you can try this out, but I'm warning you, it does hurt. What to rate this product? I already have a love-hate relationship with this thing. I love the results, I love how my skin feels, but I just hated peeling the product off. And that's kind of like unimaginable because I love peeling things off my face and my skin. So kind of hard to believe that I kind of hate peeling this one off but um, in saying that I think I'm gonna rate it a six and a half out of ten it's definitely not for everyone that's why I'm giving it like a just above average score um, however I do really like the results just like you gotta think is it worth the pain is it not so it really depends on your pain tolerance but really the results are pretty good so that's it to this episode of Tina Tries It. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. Please make sure you like, share and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with future videos. And I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.